I started the farm really just to produce the best tasting, healthiest food for myself and my family. I was in America, I had a high-tech company. My wife gave me a book on organics and that's where it all started. It was a hobby really. It's become a lot better than that now. We've got a lot of different animals, a lot of different plants, and then we've got quite a lot of different products. We start on the dairy side, we've got mozzarella, on about 1,600 buffalo and seven other farms in the, in the UK. The vineyard, we got a chap that had run uh, Crystal Champagne in California for 20 years, and he helped us with the root stocks and all the planting. And we have two keys, one slow growing animals and plants are generally healthy and taste better. And biodiversity is a key to a healthy natural environment. I suppose one thing you learn in Formula One is to develop technology as, very, as fast as you can. Everything we do is produce the best tasting, healthiest food. And we start from the soil. And the soils are very, very complex. You think everything you eat comes from the soil except from the sea. So that's a very, very key ingredient. So then I want to get a lab so um, I could understand the biology in, in, the, in the soil. We have a full chemistry lab, as, probably as, as uh, much equipment as most universities have. If you think everything you eat comes from the soil except from the sea, so that's a very, very key ingredient. In a way, we're trying to simulate how nature would have been in a in natural environment. Mercedes has got to be the same. I think the, the more advanced cars they can produce, the quicker, the, the more they're going to stay ahead. Yes, I have an electric smart, which is our farm car. I had a Mercedes when I was still in Formula One. I had a Mercedes for the farm and I, my wife had one. I have driven Mercedes ever since. Yeah, I think it's, it's exciting working with a company like Mercedes because you you're looking at the latest technologies in every area. They start from the bottom with the factory and the whole production of coal. That's a massive environmental impact, which they've worked on from the bottom. We're trying to put in an anaerobic digester, which will give us, provide all the electricity for the whole site. We're trying to be self-sustaining energy and carbon neutral. Uh, we'll be able to provide enough electricity for a thousand houses as well.